remember. When we go for it on our opponent, like a 40% like on a good opponent, they're never going to fall for this. So as you come in for their sweep, you're going to start to elevate and fall to the side. They're going to post and they're going to have to give you legs, right, of some sort. If they give you legs or arms, right, we can always start coming in for our shoulder crunches that we did. Or, my God, this post up with your legs. From here, as we start to do it, they come up like this. This is most likely what's going to happen. Whenever you see them give you legs, okay, that's fine. We start to elevate, right? From here, I take my collar grip. I go into the armpit because I'm going to push them in the same direction as my arm, as my fingers are facing. From here, I go for my false grip around the knee tendons. I use my feet to elevate them all in that same direction. I'm under my ashi. At the higher levels, we go straight into our heel hooks. At lower levels, if this is competition, well, you have straight ankle locks, you have X guards, you have sweeps, and you have everything else. So from here, your opponent knows what's happening, or maybe you just fuck up, that's fine. We start to go for it, they're gonna post up, and they're not gonna give you anything. From here, we, we go from a, uh, we go to our, our, our shoulder post, we go to our false root grip, we push in the same direction as they're facing, we go straight into our leg locking sequence, or we come into our X guards or our sweeps. Let's try that. Three, two, one. Thank <laughs> you. 